Welcome to the student information session for the Master of Arts in Marriage and Family Therapy program at Chapman University. My name is Naveen Jonathan, and I am an MFT faculty member and director of this program. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the Marriage and Family Therapy program manager, Cassidy Manton, who will be talking about marriage and family therapy, a growing profession. Hi, and welcome. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, it's estimated the number of MFT jobs will increase by 23% over the next decade. And this is due to several different factors, including expansion of Medi-Cal, integration of primary and behavioral health care, more insurance companies are covering mental health services, there's been an increased focus on mental health services for veterans, um, as well as more MFT support in the school setting. We're also seeing advances in the decrease in stigma in mental health services. Um, to the right, you can see a snapshot of, of the number of MFTs employed nationally, uh, those employed in California, as well as median wages for both national and California MFTs. In terms of careers, you really have a lot of options and where you want to go. Um, you'll see from this chart here, uh, a lot of uh, MFTs are working with individuals, um, families. Uh, you'll see them in outpatient centers, health practitioner offices, government offices. Um, other categories include uh, working in school settings, uh, education, uh, private practice um, on there as well. And you'll see that most MFTs um, oftentimes choose to, to work in a variety of different settings, sometimes at the same time. Um, for myself and several of the faculty, um, in addition to working here at Chapman, we have our own private practice um, outside where we see clients. Um, so you really have the opportunity to uh, work in a variety of different settings in this field. I'm going to pass it over again to Dr. Jonathan, who's going to fill you in a little bit more about Chapman University um, and our program specifics. Thank you, Cassidy. In this particular section, I'm going to be discussing the university and the program's mission statement, program goals, and student learning outcomes. The mission for Chapman University is to provide personalized education of distinction that leads to inquiring, ethical, and productive lives as global citizens. This particular mission statement is at the foundation of the MFT program. The MFT program mission statement is to provide students with the academic and professional training to become systems-oriented, ethical, and multiculturally competent marriage and family therapists who are critical consumers of research in the field. I'd like to comment about several different areas on this particular slide. First of all, in the field of marriage and family therapy, even if we work with an individual, we are always looking at systems. We're very interested in terms of things like the family system, work system, friendship system, um, schools, um, you name it. We're very interested in that. We also want to train our students to practice ethically, practice also from a diverse base as they will be seeing clients from all different walks of life, as well as being critical consumers of research, letting your research guide you in your clinical practice to be one of eight programs in the state of California who are accredited nationally from the Commission on Accreditation for Marriage and Family Therapy Education, known as COAMFTI. Some of the benefits of COAMFTI national accreditation include the fact that students are able to transfer coursework from state to state and meet licensure requirements. There are states, especially in the Midwest and in the South, where it is required that you must be a graduate from a COAMFTI program. It also compels programs to raise standards and improve program efficiency. The program faculty and staff are constantly looking at ways that we may be able to um, raise our standards, look at ways that we can become more effective in our class offerings, in our curriculum, and the way that we structure our program. Students also receive higher quality training due to the increased emphasis on program improvement. Through this presentation, you will see some of the differences, for example, in our clinical training and our class offerings and some of the milestone markers that students have to complete as part of the program.
accredited through the larger university through WASC, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. This is an important accreditation that many universities have, and here at Chapman University is also one of those accredited schools. The Marriage and Family Therapy Program at Chapman University has five program goals. The first is to teach a comprehensive curriculum emphasizing relational systemic theories and techniques. As I mentioned in the previous slide, it's absolutely important for us to give you a good grounding in terms of how to work relationally and also look at all systems that clients interact with. Two, to graduate students who are competent in the practice of marriage and family therapy. We want all of our students to feel competent to go out and to practice effectively. Three, to foster an environment of inclusion and respect for diversity and it's all its forms throughout curriculum offerings and clinical training. You will see this environment and respect for diversity through all of the course offerings and also seen throughout our program. Four, to teach students to critically evaluate research in the field and use it to inform clinical practice. Five, to train students to apply marriage and family therapy professional and ethical standards. Seven, student learning outcomes as well. Um, the first student learning outcome is to demonstrate a knowledge of family systems theories by incorporating theory and technique when working with different treatment units. In your theories classes and throughout the curriculum, you will see family systems theories constantly mentioned and you will learn all of the different theoretical modalities and how you may apply those um, in working with different units such as a couple, a family, a child, an individual. Students will also be able to successfully apply those systemic theories in clinical practice as I just mentioned. Students will also demonstrate an awareness and respect for diversity issues and their own social location in relation to their clinical practice. In our diversity class, um, you will learn about how students' identities, or rather therapists' identities, um, impact the client-therapist relationship. So it is important for students to understand and have that awareness. Students will also be successful consumers of research by demonstrating an understanding of basic research methods and integrating this knowledge into clinical practice. We want to ensure that our students are practicing effectively using good evidence-based practices that are out there in research. Students will be knowledgeable and successfully ap apply appropriate legal and ethical guidelines necessary for the competent practice of marriage and family therapy. We also want to ensure that students will secure employment in the field of marriage and family therapy and also that graduates will pass the MFT licensing exams. Your slide, you will notice that we have four guiding principles or guiding documents known as professional marriage and family therapy principles. The first is the AMFT core competencies. This particular document is considered the foundational document that has all of the competencies that MFTs need to know and to acquire to practice effectively um, in the field of marriage and family therapy. Nationally also, we abide by the AAMFT code of ethics. Um, because we are a program here in California, we also um, abide by the California Board of Behavioral Sciences, known as the BBS, their statutes and regulations for practice of marriage and family therapy. And also in the state of California, there is a state professional organization known as CAMFT, and we abide by their code of ethics as well. Here at Chapman and in this MFT program, we really support a diverse student body and faculty. Um, in addition to infusing diversity-related issues into the curriculum, uh, we feel that maintaining diverse student body and faculty really help enhance classroom and clinical experiences. Um, diversity issues included throughout the curriculum include race, ethnicity, gender, social class, sexual orientation, religion, and spirituality. It's also incorporated in our clinical practicum experience for students through their client caseload and in supervision. So as of fall 2018, this is a snapshot of our current student body. Uh, you can see we have majority of our students are female. Most of our students are coming straight out of undergrad or waited a year or two, but we do have a growing number of students who are seeking this profession later in life, oftentimes as a second career. In terms of ethnicity, you can also see the breakdown uh, for the different ethnicities represented in our current student class. 
In terms of where our students are coming from, we get the majority of our students from Cal State schools, UCs. We also get a number of Chapman undergrads who join us. Um, we have a good majority of out-of-state students and a variety of others. Undergraduate major, most of the majors for the program do have a psychology in their undergraduate education, um, but we also get human development and, um, and others. So as I mentioned earlier, those who maybe have changed careers um, and have later returned to pursue an MFT degree. Now we're going to introduce you to some of the faculty members in the Marriage and Family Therapy Program. In the slide, we will introduce you to our core faculty. As I've introduced myself, my name is Naveen Jonathan. I have been here at Chapman University for the last nine years. I have served as program director over the last three years. Um, some of my clinical interests include working with children and teens in the context of family therapy, uh, doing couples therapy. I also work actively in the LGBT community. I also do see college and university students. Um, I practice a particular type of therapy known as solution-focused therapy, which is a strengths-based model. Um, my colleague next to me in the picture is Dr. Arpada Lal. Um, Dr. Lal has been here at Chapman for four years. Dr. Lal's clinical interests include working with couples therapy, teens and young adults, multicultural and gender issues. Dr. Lal works very actively um, with the South Asian Network here in Southern California. Next to Dr. Lal is Dr. Brennan Peterson, who's been here at Chapman for the last 15 years. Um, Dr. Peterson's clinical interests include coping with infertility, uh, fertility awareness, and oocyte preservation. Dr. Peterson is in private practice here um, in Orange County. Uh, pictures of our additional faculty members, uh, Dr. Carolyn Broadbeck, who is one of our psychology faculty members and also teaches in our program, um, Adam Furtado, Dr. Ashley Lewis, uh, Lisa Maddox, and Dr. Jeannie Walker, all who are adjunct faculty. Here are pictures of our clinical supervisors, uh, Lori Breeden Gomez, Sarah Douglas, Dr. Carla Heredia, Linda Karmelich, and Heather Witcher. On this page, I would like to introduce you to our administrators and staff of the Marriage and Family Therapy Program. Uh, the first picture is Susan Chester. Susan serves as the clinic director for the Francis Smith Center. Susan is a graduate of this program in the class of 1991 and also in private practice here in Orange County. My colleague to the next is Cassidy Manton, who you've been hearing through this webinar. Cassidy serves as the MFT program manager. Cassidy is also in private practice here in Orange County. And then finally, Bridget Wommelduff, who is our MFT department assistant, um, who serves between the Francis Smith Center and the MFT program. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes and talk to you a little bit about our program curriculum. The MFT program is a three-year program that totals 60 credits. As part of my role as program manager, I sit down with each student as they are admitted and go over what we call their plan of study. So we will decide for you what's going to be the best courses to take and when, and it will also help to keep you in your, in your cohort. Um, you'll see from here we have a variety of different topics for courses, um, including different theories, learning to assess, learning about legal and ethical issues, uh, diversity, group therapy, and of course your practicum experience. In addition, we also offer several electives, including our practicum two, which is an external traineeship that we'll go into in a little more detail. In this particular section, we will be talking about our practicum uh, experience. Of the Marriage and Family Therapy Program is the Francis Smith Center for Individual and Family Therapy. It was founded in 1968 by Dr. Francis Smith. The clinic specifically had a focus at that time to serve Vietnam veterans and their families. Over the past 50 years, the Francis Smith Center has become well known and respected by the local community. We regularly receive referrals from mental health professionals, hospitals, schools, and other organizations. It is the practicum site for all Chapman University MFT students. One of the unique factors of the program is that all students complete a one-year internship through the Francis Smith Center where they complete 300 clinical hours where they meet with individuals, 
couples, families, children, teens, and groups. We moved to this particular facility in 2011, which features new state-of-the-art training and technology. It, the clinic specifically includes eight large observation rooms, each equipped with digital cameras used to record sessions for instructional purposes. A little bit more about our practicum experience. Our goal through practicum is to prepare you for state and national licensure as an MFT through integrating your classroom and experiential learning. You are the therapist in the room, working with a variety of different types of clients, all coming from various culturally diverse populations. You'll have the opportunity to conceptualize cases and develop treatment plans with your clinical supervisor. You will address legal and ethical considerations. It's important to know that all of our clinical supervisors have achieved the National AAMFT approved supervisor designation. You'll also have the opportunity to work from a sliding fee scale and outreach to the community. In experience, students are also required to participate in two community collaborations. We have three programs that are established currently in the Marriage Family Therapy Program. The first is our Stroke Boot Camp Program. In partnership with the Crean College Department of Physical Therapy Program, Stroke Boot Camp provides services to caregivers and survivors of stroke. The next program is also through the Chapman DPT Program, and it's a collaboration known as Balanced Families, where MFT students provide support services to caregivers of children with cerebral palsy. Final collaboration is known as Wooden Floor. The Wooden Floor is an organization located in Santa Ana, California, that is a community support organization. Through this particular program, MFT students provide psychoeducation and empowerment groups for at-risk youth and their families. Practicum. Students in practicum participate in 50 weeks of providing clinical services in their final year. As mentioned, you complete a minimum of 300 face-to-face -face client hours. You are the therapist in the room with the client in front of you. you all, of these 300 face-to-face -face client hours, 120 of those hours must be relational, meaning that you're working with one other part of the system in the room. You complete 50 hours of live observation with your clinical supervisor. You also complete 150 hours of supervision, two hours of group supervision per week, and one hour of individual supervision and also complete a capstone project. Supervision. In this particular picture, Clinic Director Susan Jester is behind the one-way mirror instructing her practicum group as they're observing a live session. We operate by offering several different modalities in supervision. There's case review, case presentation, group supervision, video observation, and live observation as mentioned here with this picture that you're seeing. Capstone Project. As part of your graduation requirements, students are required to complete a capstone project in the final semester. You actually begin this process and write various aspects of it while as, as a student here in the program. The capstone project includes three parts, a theory of change paper that you begin writing in theories class, a comprehensive written case report that you begin in your last year in the program where you're documenting your work with a client, and an oral case presentation which demonstrates how you do therapy with that client and demonstrates specific interventions that is done in your last semester. We'll be talking about professional growth opportunities in the program. As mentioned earlier in our presentation, we have what's known as an external traineeship. After you've completed 12 units of coursework in the program, you are eligible for our external traineeship program. Students will meet with the coordinator of that program and will be placed in their chosen site for a minimum of one calendar year. Some of the reasons that students conduct external traineeships is that it allows students the opportunity to gain additional hours and experience towards licensure. It helps students to be that much closer to MFT licensure upon graduation. All students participating in external traineeships will also be enrolled in a practicum course that gives them the opportunity to consult with faculty members regarding their clinical work. Other additional clinical training opportunities include advanced clinical trainings that the program holds at least once per semester. Upon graduation, 
this particular clinical training also is free to alumni and provides you with continuing education units. Here's some examples of diverse topics that we've covered in the 2017-2018 academic year. We are also proud to be one of two programs in the state of California to host a chapter of the Delta Kappa International Marriage and Family Therapy Honor Society. Through Delta Kappa, the organization's activities train emerging leaders in the field of marriage and family therapy. It also creates a structure for developing scholarly forums so that students can present research, can engage um, marriage and family therapy techniques and practice. It also recognizes and promotes the achievements of our students so that they can become effective clinicians and scholars. I our students to have membership in either the AAMFT, which is the National MFT Organization, or in the state organization known as CAMFT. We believe very strongly that membership in these organizations allows students the active participation in the field of marriage and family therapy. It encourages students to attend meetings in terms of engaging in leadership and also keeping up with the latest news and trends in the field of marriage and family therapy. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our application process. So we have two application cycles during the year. We admit students in both the fall and the spring semesters. Um, you'll see from the slide here for spring applications are due by October 1st and for fall they're due by February 1st. Along with the $60 application fee, we ask that you submit official transcripts GRE scores if your overall GPA is less than a 3.3, two letters of recommendation, a resume, and a personal statement that really speaks to your experiences, both personal and professional, that have helped shape your career objectives and prepared you to be an MFT. Some of you may have graduated with an undergraduate degree other than psychology. If that's the case, we do have a few prereqs that we ask you to take while you're either in the program or before. Most of our students um, who start the program will have completed all the prerequisites by uh, the first uh, day of classes. Uh, you need to be enrolled in or have completed at least three of them uh, prior to applying for the program. And those courses are an introduction to psychology, abnormal psychology, developmental psychology, or research methods course. Um, all of these courses can be taken at your local community college. You'll need at least a C plus or higher in order for the course to count towards your prerequisites. And if you have any questions about classes that you've taken prior or classes that you're considering taking to count for prerequisites, please feel free to contact me directly. All of our applications are reviewed and those that are meeting the minimum application requirements uh, may be selected to participate in an interview. The interviews are a really important part of our application process. It's an important part of evaluating health professions in the field. This really gives us an opportunity to see your personal interactions and how you might work as an MFT with clients and colleagues. Um, interviews include a one-on-one -on -one interview with myself and also a group interview with program director and clinic director. During this application uh, interview process, you'll also be able to meet with current students who will provide tours of the on-site clinic, the campus, and share with you their experiences and feedback about the program. Students are admitted to the program based on the strength of their application combined with the quality of the interview. To give you an idea of our most recent cohort, um, the fall 2018, um, and where they did in terms of GPA and GRE, you can see that their average GPA scores are 3.45, so uh, a little bit above the GRE requirement. Uh, for GRE scores, you can also see uh, the average GRE scores that our incoming students had earned. For 2018-2019 tuition, uh, you're looking at $1,145 a credit, and for a 60 credit program, total tuition cost is currently at $68,700. Many of our students choose to use financial aid to help pay for their tuition and living expenses. Um, applications can be completed as early as January 1st and are all done online. 
In addition to financial aid, our program is able to offer a few fellowships to select students each admission cycle. These are typically one-time awards and they range between six and $12,000 and they assist with tuition during the first two years of the program. In our past admission cycle, we were able to give out 25, uh, give out these fellowships 25% of our incoming students. In terms of what our most recent alumni are doing and how soon they were able to find employment, uh, you'll see that a lot of our alumni uh, started out in public mental health. Um, about 70% um, are working public mental health. You'll see some in drug and alcohol, uh, some in residential. Um, we're really pleased that most of our students were able to find employment within the first three months of graduation. And most pleased about our licensure exam pass rates is all of our 2718 alumni who submitted their, uh, their information uh, had passed the law and ethics exam on their first try. There's some other ways that we work with our students to help prepare them for their careers as MFTs upon graduation. That includes things like resume preparation, interview skill building, collaboration with local agencies. We also connect students with other financial resources in the community. So these include various stipend and fellowship programs and scholarships. Um, you'll also uh, see that our program has a strong alumni network where a lot of our students do find employment through connections with other Chapman MFT grads and our program will send out weekly employment opportunity announcements as well. Some comments that some of our alumni have um, shared with us about their experience here. Uh, academic classes extremely informative and interesting. Having small classes allowed for better learning. Having closeness with professors was very helpful and made the process from classroom to client sessions much easier. And the clinic and supervision experience was the most helpful in preparing me for my career. So if you want to learn some more about our program, please be sure to follow us on social media. We have our Facebook page and that has weekly updates from the program. Um, you'll also uh, be able, as an alumni, receive emails about job opportunities um, for graduation, networking events, and so ga social gatherings to stay connected with our MFT family. Thank you for attending our recorded webinar. To learn more information about the master's program in marriage and family therapy at Chapman University, please contact MFT program manager Cassidy Manton at 714-744-7837 or cmanton at chapman.edu. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.